What's going on everybody? Patriot Stacker here. Welcome back to the channel. So I just recently picked up a little over 16 ounces of silver. I got some bullion and I got a Morgan dollar. I got quite a nice little variety of different types of silver. So I'm excited to show you today. Let's see what I got. So the first two ounces that I picked up are these two generic buffalo rounds. They had really nice eye appeal. There's a lot of detail in the design. They're a little bit different than some of the other buffaloes I've seen before. These looked really nice, so I had to pick these up. I got two, they're both the same. Uh, they are made by Monument Metals, I believe. There's that MM marking there. I can't remember, I believe that's Monument Metals, but they're really good looking buffalo rounds and I got a great deal on them, and it's always nice to add some low premium generic silver to the stack. So the third ounce of silver that I added to my stack was this beautiful generic round here. This is a don't tread on me with the classic coiled snake design from the Gadsden flag, which like it says here was established in 1754. Such an iconic and patriotic design, I really like this round, and it almost has a proof-like finish, which is really beautiful. And the other side of the round here is very nice. The price of liberty, eternal vigilance, one ounce, three ninths fine silver. I really like this eagle design. It's standing on the fascies here. Really, really cool piece. I was excited to pick this one up. Also got this for a great deal, just a little over spot price, which was awesome. I really like this one a lot. So I also picked up this 1881 Morgan dollar. Of course, like you see here, it is heavily circulated, but it's always nice to get another Morgan for the stack. This was minted in New Orleans. You see the O mint mark right above the D and the O in dollar. And like I said, it's not in the best condition at all, but it's a good date. I didn't have this in my collection. The 1881 O has a mintage of 5,708,000. Not too bad. I was happy to pick up another Morgan for the stack. So the next piece of silver that I picked up was this beautiful 100 gram Scottsdale Mint silver bar. I was really excited to pick this one up. They just look great. These are a poured silver bar, Scottsdale Mint, three nines fine silver, and 100 grams is about 3.2 troy ounces. So a little over three ounces in this nice little poured bar here from the Scottsdale Mint. I was really excited to pick this up because I don't have any bars in my stack similar to this, and I don't have any Scottsdale at all. So I ended up picking up its big brother as well. I got the poured 10 ounce Scottsdale bar, and this is a loaf. This is beautiful. I love this piece here. It's got a lot of weight, and it's, it's just really cool, both of these. They just have that look of silver bullion. When you picture bullion, you picture silver looking like this. And I just love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And I was really excited to add these to my stack. I got these for great deals and they are just beautiful. So this 10 ounce is really cool. And I have a 10 ounce pressed bar back here, this Aztec bar from Golden State Mint, just to show you how they compare. Both are 10 troy ounces. One is thin, one is extra thick, this loaf bar here. And then the size, it's much smaller than a press bar, as you see, but the thickness is just insane. So a lot different from a normal press 10 ounce to one of these Scottsdale poured loaf bars. I was really, really excited to pick this one up. Like I said, I don't have anything like this in my stack besides some hand poured silver that I did myself but these are really cool. I got the little brother and the big brother, 10 troy ounces and 100 grams or 3.2 troy ounces. Really, really beautiful pieces here. All right, everybody, so that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed checking out my newest silver acquisitions. We got those awesome Scottsdale poured silver bars. We got some generic buffalo rounds, that beautiful don't tread on me round, and an 1881-0 Morgan silver dollar. I was really excited to add this to my stack, and I got this all for a great deal. See, I'm always out looking for deals and the low premium silver because I like to keep my dollar cost average of my stack as low as possible. 
I'm guilty of making some high premium silver purchases here and there as well. I love Mexican Libertads and different coins like that, which typically carry a high premium. So when I add that to my stack, it brings my dollar cost average up. But when I can find those great deals and get low premium silver or even silver at melt value, which is a plus, when I can do that, then it brings my dollar cost average down significantly. That's how I manage my silver stack. Let me know down in the comments. Do you have a strategy like that to keep your dollar cost average down as well? You know, if you find the deals, it brings it down. And if you do get a couple pieces that you just love and just wanted for your stack, but had a higher premium, getting some of those better deals and the lower premium silver, that'll bring that dollar cost average down and keep everybody happy. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash the like button if you enjoyed what you saw. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos all about silver stacking, precious metals, coin collecting, and much more. And ring the notification bell so you can see when I upload my next video. And as always, have a great day.